miss a little bit. Hi, I'm Max. Today is November 4th and this is the Cape Report. On today's show, we will have club updates, meetings, fr Friday faculty, and updates for everyone. Now for today's lunch. We have pizza or buffalo chicken pizza, baked sweet potatoes and apples, and a fruit cocktail. Be sure to check out all the other dining options. If you are interested in playing unified basketball, please send Mrs. Hagen a message on Schoology and attend an interest meeting on November 7th during advisory. The first practice will be held on November 29th from 2.45 to 4.15. The Lewis Public Library will offer free winter coats and shoes for children Saturday, November 12th through Saturday, November 19th in partnership with Operation Warm, a national nonprofit manufacturer of brand new, high quality coats and shoes. Items will be available at the library. No appointment is necessary. The hours of operation are on Monday through Thursday, 10 to 8, Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday, 10 to 2, and closed on Sundays. And now, and now to Faculty Friday. Okay, my name is Mr. Brady. Uh, this is my first year at Cape, so I guess I, I started in August. Uh, it's, it's a great school. I mean, there's a really good staff here. The environment is great. Um, students are, are good. They're a little bit getting used to, but, um, you know, I, I do like them, and it's fun to kind of interact with them in the classroom. If you've ever been in my classroom before, you see a lot of posters on the wall. Um, I love to, to, to watch movies, TV shows. I love to listen to music. Um, so, you know, I, I always love to talk about that if my students ever bring it up or, or staff or anything. So, um, yeah, that's what I love to do for fun. I'm LT. And I'm Grady, and this is your fantasy football scorers and highlights from week eight. Our top scoring QBs are Tua Tagovailoa with 29.18 points and Jalen Hurts with 28.4 points. Our top scoring running backs are Alvin Kamara with 42.8 points and King Henry with 35 points. Point eight points. Our top scoring wide receivers with 30 plus points this week are Tyreek Hill, DeAndre Hopkins, Jaden Lotta, and to top them all off, AJ Brown with a crazy 39.6 points. Our top scoring tight end is Tyler Coughlin with 25.9 points. The Browns, Saints, and Seahawks with 14 points all around. And, our, and finally, our kicker, Nick Folk, with 21 points. For our top plays of the week at number five, we have Rami Dobbs with a nice grab from the defender, Falls. Rodgers protected, flipping to the corner of the end zone for Dobbs, who turns around, did he bring it in? Yes, what a catch by Romeo Dobbs for the touchdown. The fourth best play is Amari Cooper with an extended 40-yard catch. Von Bell, who he's, he's locked up, and he's not able to get then over the top. Hill is expecting help, but Von Bell trying to disguise the look, and he's up in there. The third play is Terry McLaurin with a great catch over Stephon Gilmore. Heineke, they keep the play alive again, he flips it downfield, and McLaurin, the hometown kid, hauls it in at the one yard line, what a grab, he ripped it. The second best play is T. Higgins Moss and score over the Browns defender. Burrow, protected, gets hit a bit, Higgins, what a catch, wow, touchdown Cincinnati, as he took it away from... And finally, with our top play of the week, we have an absolute 62-yard bomb from P.J. Walker to D.J. Moore to send them into overtime. Walker on first down, moving to his left. And now Walker fires downfield, looking for D.J. Moore. Oh, the end my zone. God! It's a diving catch for a Panthers touchdown. Wow! 62 yards! And that will conclude our fantasy football report and highlights, and have a great Cape Day. And now to your weekend weather with Elena. Hi, this is Elena with your weekend weather report. Today on Friday, there's a high of 71 and a low of 61. So wear your warm clothes to support the Cape and Lopen Boys Football Senior Night tonight. Tomorrow on Saturday, there should be a high of 73 and a low of 61. But it should be mainly sunny. On Sunday, there's a high of 74 but a low of 59. So it should be co getting colder during the nighttime. Have a great Cape weekend. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Cape Report. 
Here's today's birthdays and have a great Cape Day.